If you've ever flown before, you will know that airport security is not exactly the most enjoyable part of the process. Sometimes it can be downright not good. For those of you who are new to flying, the thought of navigating through these chaotic lines might seem a bit scary and overwhelming. But fear not, there is a game changer in town and it's called TSA PreCheck. On my other video about TSA mistakes, so many of you commented that I should make a video about TSA PreCheck. So today I will uncover everything you need to know, including some new updates and also a limitation that could stop you at certain airport security checkpoints. At the end, I will share my personal thoughts about why I'm not even sure TSA PreCheck is gonna be around for much longer. Let's do this. The easiest and quickest way through airport security is by using TSA PreCheck. As of this year, TSA PreCheck is the most popular traveler program with over 15 million active members and roughly 99% of their passengers wait less than 10 minutes to get through US airport security screening. So what are the benefits of using TSA PreCheck? How do you sign up? And what does it cost? Stick around for all of this, as well as some new updates they've recently made public. Let's first talk about the benefits. First up, it's a time saver. With TSA PreCheck, you're looking at a breezy security experience, typically under five to 10 minutes. Compare that to the usual lines where you could be stuck for 30, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour or longer. I don't know about you, but I have found myself in endless security lines and wondering if I was gonna miss my flight. TSA PreCheck saves a lot of time in these situations. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of regular security checks. You know the drill, shoes off, belts off, electronics out, coats off, and that little bag of liquids and gels needs to be taken out too. Then there's the full body scanner. All of these steps are what completely bog down the process. With TSA PreCheck, you get to skip all that. No more undressing and unpacking at security. The lines move fast because the process is streamlined. I recently got TSA PreCheck myself and <laughs> I gotta say, it makes a difference. Less than five minutes and I was done. All I did was show my ID and boarding pass. I put my bags on the belt without having to remove my laptop and I walked on through the metal detector. I was given a thumbs up, I grabbed my bags, and off I went to my gate. I will also note that it's not always guaranteed to be like that every time. On one occasion in a TSA PreCheck lineup, they still wanted to double check something in my bag. Didn't take long, but it's important to know that a secondary inspection is still a possibility. But for the most part, TSA PreCheck allows you to avoid the unpredictability of normal security lines. Without TSA PreCheck, I usually get to the airport early enough to allow an hour just for clearing security. Although I'm still one of those people who likes to show up early rather than cut it close, I can rest assured if I'm at an airport with TSA PreCheck that security is gonna be a breeze. So you might be wondering, how do you get into this program and what does it cost? Let's break down the entire process of enrolling in TSA PreCheck. Before we get into specific details, it's important to note that TSA PreCheck is only good for US departures. Internationally, you're gonna to have to go through the same security lineups as everybody else. So make sure that you're prepared for that process. There are certain ways that you can pack your carry-on bags to make it easier if you have to remove certain items and put them separately through the x-ray machine. I'll leave some links in the description to other videos I've created to help you with exactly that. It's also important to note that not every airport in the US has TSA PreCheck. It's currently in 200 airports though, and the program is expanding. So there's a good chance that the airport you wanna fly out of will have TSA lineups. Okay, enrollment. First, you need to submit an application online or in person, which takes about 10 to 15 minutes. The form is brief and it requires basic information like your date of birth and your location of birth, your current address, height, weight, eye color, stuff like that. Just make sure that the name that you enter on the form matches the name on your government ID exactly. You must be a US citizen, US national, or US permanent resident to apply. If you have children under 12 years old, they can go through the pre-check lineups with you without having their own clearance. Canadians can also get TSA pre-check by having Nexus, which is a trusted traveler program that expedites the process of entering the US through most ports of entry. It takes about three to five days for your application to be reviewed and conditionally approved although it can take up to a few weeks. At this point, you need to schedule an in-person appointment at an enrollment center for fingerprinting and a background check. The interview is straightforward, usually takes about 10 minutes, depending on how busy the enrollment center is. You'll be asked to verify the information on your application, and you may also be questioned about your employment history and travel habits. If you have any criminal history, be prepared to provide additional information. When you go for the interview, make sure to bring valid ID with you you'll get specific instructions about what you need to bring. 
there are over 400 TSA pre-check application centers across the US, so there's probably one close to you. Make sure that you use a company that has an enrollment center in your area. I will revisit this in a minute, it's pretty important. So let's say you've aced the interview and you've gotten approved. What's next? You receive a known traveler number or KTN for short. This little number is your golden ticket to breezing through airport security. When you're booking flights or checking in, you will see a spot to enter this KTN. With your KTN in the system, the boarding pass will then have a TSA pre-check symbol on it, which is what gives you access to the special lineups. Are you a frequent flyer with any airlines? Here's a pro tip. Update your profile in your frequent flyer account to include your KTN. This way, every time you book a flight, your known traveler number is automatically added, ensuring that you get TSA pre-check every time. Speaking of frequent flyers, be sure to watch my Travel Hacking 101 video to learn how to use frequent flyer miles like a pro. TSA works with two companies to process pre-check applications. Edamia has 630 active locations and prices start at $78, and Telos has 26 active locations with prices starting at $85. Both of these are valid for five years and renewal prices are about $70. Not sure which one to choose? Go with the company that has an enrollment center close to you. I'll leave a link in the description to the TSA Enrollment Centers page so you can find out what's close. Telos may have relatively few enrollment centers at the time of making this video, but it's a fairly new partnership and they're actively expanding both enrollment centers and hours of operation. Also, if you already have TSA PreCheck, you can renew with either Telos or Edemia, regardless of who you originally got it from. Another new perk of this partnership is a fully online renewal process. You can still renew in person as well, but most people tend to prefer online. You'll get a notification six months prior to the expiration of your current TSA pre-check. You can do the renewal right away, or you can wait. Renewals simply extend your current membership's end date with no downside to renewing early. The approval process usually takes three to five days, though TSA suggests that you renew at least 90 days in advance of expiry, just in case your renewal gets held up. The online renewal process takes about five minutes and involves confirming your address, passport details, answering some security questions. If you changed your name since your last enrollment, you will need to submit a name change request, which can take a bit longer and is best done at an enrollment center. Pro tip, take a close look at your boarding pass before you get anywhere near the security lineup. If you're checking in online, do it from home. You're looking for the TSA PreCheck logo or the words TSA PreCheck. If you don't see it there, double check the reservation. Log in to the airline's website and see if your known travel number is added to your booking. If you tried to fix it online and it's still missing, you can head over to the airline's check-in desk at the airport. The agents there can help you out. Usually they'll just add your KTN to your reservation on the spot and reprint, reprint your boarding pass so you can still enjoy pre-check lines. In my super popular episode about TSA mistakes to avoid, a few themes came up in the comments. One of the themes involved a negative view of TSA with an implication that airport security in other countries isn't like this. I'm gonna agree and disagree with this. For the most part, airport security is the same around the world. You may or may not be required to take off your shoes, belt, and jacket. I've had to do it in other countries, so it's not just a US thing. And you'll probably need to take your, out your laptop and liquids. So I think it's unfair to come down too hard on TSA for being the bad guys. That said, there are exceptions, which is the other theme that came out in the comments. Amsterdam Airport, for example, was cited many times as having a super smooth security process with no need to remove anything from bags, etc. I believe this is 100% because of technology. Airports around the world are upgrading to better machines for scanning bags. These new machines are why you don't have to take anything out of your bag. This is happening in the US too. Last year I attended a conference in Cleveland, Ohio. I didn't have TSA pre-check at the time. A friend of mine who flies out of Cleveland a lot gave me a pro tip. She told me to go to the lineup on the, I think it was the far right side, because that lineup had one of the new machines that meant I wouldn't have to pull anything out of my bag. Sure enough, she was right. While everybody in the other lineups were taking off their shoes and pulling out their laptops and liquids, I breezed through in record time. I bring this up because as technology continues to change and airports continue to upgrade their equipment, it's possible that TSA PreCheck could become obsolete. It's not gonna happen anytime soon because there's a lot of security machines that would need upgrading. And remember, TSA PreCheck is only for US departures anyway, so what you're gonna get abroad is a grab bag, and it's important to be ready for whatever they throw at you, ideally with a smile on your face. For the time being, TSA PreCheck is still a game changer for US frequent flyers. 
With it, you're looking at a smooth, quick, and stress-free U.S. airport experience. Do you have TSA PreCheck, or are you interested in getting it? Share your airport experiences in the comments, and check out the description for useful TSA links, and please subscribe to my channel for more tips to help you travel smart in style. I'm Nora Dunn, aka The Professional Hobo, and thanks for watching.